Today's video is brought to you by Rocket Money. Stick around and find out how Rocket Money can help you save. Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Random Roundup. Giddy up, dear Adam out, oh dear God, thank you. Those weren't even any, any words in the English language that I just said, but you you guys know the gist, Ye yeehaw. Today I have randomly rounded up a few boxes here from our mighty mountain stack of subscription boxes behind me. We're just gonna unbox them, we're gonna go through them, we're gonna look at the stuff, but maybe slap some stuff on our face if we feel so inclined. I'm excited to get on into this stack of packages and also I'm excited, like we're, I feel like we're making progress. There are so many more that I have to add to the mountain, but this, this particular mountain I think is gonna be a little smaller. Let's begin here. Ooh, sparkly. Let's begin with a little Ipsy bag here. It's actually really fun and pretty and sparkly. I like it. That's it. Look how pretty that is in the camera. This is the January 2024 Ipsy bag. At least that's this year. That's not that bad. It appears our bag is valued up to $70. We'll look at all the items and prices later. I'm seeing a little bit of bubble wrap in here, which you guys know that always makes me really happy. And only one squeezy tube. So let's get that out of the way first. This is very fitting to be first because the first item we have here is from First Aid Beauty. This is their deep cleanser with red clay to help remove excess oils and help unclog pores. It's supposed to be safe for sensitive skin and you just use it like a regular old cleanser. Is there a safety seal on it? Oh, there's not. Oh, it is kind of like pink. This is no bad. Sometimes that's not the case of First Day Beauty. Interesting, okay. But the next item we have here, it looks like a little eyeliner pencil. It's from YC Collection, but there's like a, there's like a tip. <laughs> there's like a empty felt tip at the top. This is supposed to be the Island eyeliner. So I'm wondering, I just wonder what that's for. Ooh. Oh, okay. <laughs> I honest to goodness at first thought that this just looked like a felt tip eyeliner that didn't have any ink in it. <laughs> it just looked like an empty felt tip eyeliner. You know when you get like um like chalk markers or paint pens and you have to like get the paint or the chalk to come out? I, I thought maybe that was the case. But I actually think that end is like a little smudger and on this end we have a really fun looking eyeliner. I'm kind of impressed by that. It's not black. It's not black eyeliner. Okay, I am impressed that they gave us something besides a standard black eyeliner, but maybe maybe it's just the one that I got or something. It just doesn't swatch very creamy, smooth. I'm not getting a lot of that like purple pigmentation. It appears at least to either be like kind of metallic or glittery, and I'm just not getting I'm not getting a ton of that. When I saw the color on here, there's a little bit of like almost a blue shift to it. I was like, oh, this is gonna be pretty. I might, I might have broken the tip just a tiny bit. Maybe with a tip off, it'll be more creamy. It kind of was, but almost in a bad way. It's kind of like it started losing pigmentation as soon as that tip broke off. I was I was trying to like go hard here and really, really swatch it. And with it actually layered up and applying a decent amount of pressure, you know, a decent amount enough to, to break the tip off. Then you can actually see what I kind of expected it to be. Uh, you know, there's more of that metallic shine to it. It has like a nice pretty purple shimmer, uh, but unfortunately maybe maybe not like the best application oh okay next up here we have another item from beauty for certain um this time i don't think it's nearly as vibrant as the last liquid lip that we got from them if you guys haven't seen that video i did a whole like try on of the ice cream beauty box for this month and uh, the, it, the colors were pretty wild they're pretty wild mm. oh it's like fruity with a hint of nail polish. Why do I like that? This is the Rosado High Gloss Lip Oil. It just looks like there's little bits of maybe golden shimmer in it. I'm gonna go ahead and try a little bit of this on. I just really like that smell and I wanna see if it tastes good too. You know, like the standard tests for lip gloss and makeup. Smell good, taste good. It's bringing me back to something, like a smelly good plastic. It does feel nice though, nice and smooth. You know, obviously not a lot of color or anything, but there is just a little bit of shimmer. Next up here, we have something from Oriza Beauty. This is the Sun Kissed Baked Opaline Highlighter. There's a lot of packaging in this. There's plastic around the box, and inside the box there's bubble wrap, and around this there's more plastic. So here we have the Sun Kissed Highlighter. It does look like a really pretty shade. I kind of remember back in the day when baked highlighters were all the rage. Like they were so pretty and domed. Okay, this might work differently with the finger versus the brush, but on the finger it did feel pretty rough, but it's a baked highlighter and um, uses a little powdery. Ah, okay. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. There's there's something happening there. There we go. Upon first swatch, it didn't it didn't light on any color. <laughs> it didn't light on like any color or shine or anything. Uh, but once I kind of worked it into the skin with my finger, it worked better. I'm gonna try it with a brush though to see if that helps it work just a little better. 
here. Just really get in there. Why do I feel like this is hard panning already? <laughs> My dome got real smooth. Okay, if you're into really subtle highlight, just a very, very subtle kind of golden glow, I could see how uh, how this could work. I mean, it's it's right there on my hand. There's the finger swatch, and here's where I really just rub that powder on. But um, <laughs> I'm still I'm still not getting much color, much shine, unfortunately. And it could work differently on the face. Why don't we just yeah? Let's go ahead and yeah. Okay, maybe, yeah, maybe a little bit right there. So maybe this needs a little bit of like a base to it. Uh, you know, I already have on foundation, all that kind of stuff. And it, I think it clung a little bit better to my cheek skin since it was like kind of prepped instead of my, my hand skin. Still potentially probably wouldn't be like my favorite go-to highlighter, but th 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 there's something there. And then last but not least, we have a little bubble wrapped item here and it seems like it might be a decent size like eyeshadow makeup item. The eyeshadow palette we have in today's bag is by Daydreams. This is the Lucky Chick palette. It looks like it's gonna be a little nine pan palette. That could be cute. We just have a nice kind of pinky move <laughs> outer packaging here and the shades on the inside. Ooh, that glitter in the center. Everything else around it is a fairly neutral shade. We have a couple little shimmers and we have some kind of beige-ish, grayish mattes. And then right smack dab in the center, <laughs> there's just a, there's just a super sparkly glitter. Well, I gotta see what that looks like. It looks like a really pretty shade of glitter too. Ooh, look at that. Oh my goodness, looks like there's a Christmas ornament ball on the tip of my finger. And that actually swatched beautifully. I don't know how well it would stay like this. It's like a glitter in some type of mushy base. So I don't know if it would stay put like this on its own or you would need to put down like a glitter primer or something tacky sticky before using this, but it's a very pretty shade, super shiny and reflective. I'm not seeing a ton of skin at all peeking through, so it swatched like real nice. So yeah, that's pretty. Okay, all right. This is a pretty good Ipsy bag. I feel like we've had some decent Ipsies recently. Real fast here, I'm gonna get you guys some prices, especially the items that I think are full size. So we have the first A Beauty cleanser. The full size of it is $24. This one was a deluxe sample. Oh, okay, so the little eyeshadow palette is full size and it's 20 bucks. And we also have a full size of the Island Eyeliner for again, 20 bucks. Well, dang, okay, the highlighter is also $29. Okay. At first I thought it said 20 bucks and I was like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but $29 for that. And that's the full size. I probably personally wouldn't pay that for it. And then the lip gloss oil is 22. So that's a good amount of full size items in an Ipsy bag. And I think the bag itself is cute. Shucks, Ipsy. Sometimes you do good things. Oh, the glitter is absolutely coming off. It's going to be literally everywhere. <laughs> oh, it's all over my pants. All right, let's go ahead and move on to our next subscription here. I feel like we haven't done this one in a while. It's from Chic Beauty. It just, it seems like quite some time since we've actually box one of these. Ooh, okay, so we have the box itself and then a palette on the outside. That's really exciting. Ooh, I'm sensing that this might be a Valentine's February box based on all the little love hearts and the XOs on the back. Man, beauty for certain. They just keep popping up in all of our subscriptions. I don't know, maybe they're trying to get like help get their name out there or something by putting their stuff in subscription boxes, but we have yet another beauty for certain item. This looks a little bit different though. I don't think we've ever received whatever this is from the brand before. I need some boss vocals spectacles because I'm, I'm struggling. Ooh, that's cute. I do like how they package stuff. So this is a little blush, it looks like. I like the translucent packaging. I think that's really nice. Or transparent. I think this is transparent because it's fully clear. Oh, okay. So this is a cream blusher in a very bright color. This is a very corally kind of warm peachy blush and uh, it's, it, it does look very bright. Potentially a little too bright for me, especially for everyday use. I'm gonna pop that back in there, but I think it's cute. Following that, we have something from Project Lip. Ooh, this color looks like it might be nice. This is a plump and fill lip liner. I didn't anticipate this being a lip liner because it's kind of thick. That's interesting that it says plump. I wonder if it actually is like, you know, lip plumper. That liquid that should be on like the Scoville scale. Scoville sc 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 scale. <laughs> Burns your lips into being bigger. I wonder if it's like that, but this is just a strange product for me. It said it was a lip liner, but like, look look how big that is. I've never seen a chunky <laughs> lip liner like that. It honestly just looks like a regular lipstick in like stick form. Now I'm really curious. I wanna see if it actually has any plumping action to it. And I think the color is pretty. So I am gonna try this on. And it says it's a lip liner. So I'm like, I'm kind of sticking to the edges of my lips, but like it's definitely big enough to fill in your entire lip lid. I do actually think the color is nice. I can't really tell if it's burning my tongue because of the product itself or it's just the fact that like I have all these little injured taste buds, I guess from burning my tongue on something earlier <laughs> and it's just burning naturally. But I feel, I feel like there's a tingle. Let's try more. 
okay okay i'm definitely feeling a bit of a tingle now it's not nearly as severe or intense as like a Too faced lip injection or something like that unless it just gets more it's spicy <laughs> as time goes on so i'm really feeling it like in the center of my lips now stop licking it it burns my tongue quite a bit i'm sure it's just those taste buds in the front that are kind of messed up <laughs> Oh, stop licking it, but it does really burn my tongue. However, that being said, I really like the color. I think this is a really nice color and it's nice to, you know, have a little plumping action to your lip product. I just make sure you warn somebody before you give them a smooch or anything like that, that they might also be kind of tingly. Next up in here from, oh, okay. I think the brand is actually Eye Booster. Okay, so next up here from Eye Booster, we have a slim brow pencil. It does actually look like it would be in a nice shade for me. And there's a little spoolie at the end. <laughs> burning <laughs> oh it's from physician's formula <laughs> i was like oh for the brand eye booster you jiggle the pencil around a little bit it says physician's formula on this side okay this says it's supposed to be a brow strengthener slash conditioner and a like pencil all in one i mean that sounds really nice it's just a little thin eyebrow stick and then also from physician's formula we have a rose all day petal glow multi-use highlighter for all day glow I mean, it looks really pretty i just don't know if that would be a shade i personally would use for highlight so cute it has a little thing that looks up and there's a brush underneath it i like fun little stuff like that i feel like this would probably be a little bit deep on my personal complexion but i could see this as a plush topper maybe even as something to like brush over top of your bronzer to give it a little bit of a glow oh it smells like roses oh why'd you do that for the rose scent isn't too overpowering but you can definitely tell if there's a floral rosy scent in there all right that leaves us with one final thing Thing, which is the palette. I'm excited. Oh, it's from Ace Pute. Very pretty packaging. I like that gold mixed in with this like bright orange. Ooh, those are some rich, intense colors. Oh, that's actually really pretty. To me, this looks like a very fun summertime palette. That uh, sherbet there on the corner, that is neon. Pumpkin. Alrighty, folks, that is the second box down. Let's go ahead and move on here to another ice cream beauty box. Before we move on, I am very excited to tell you guys about today's sponsor, Rocket Money. You guys know that I have a lot of subscriptions. Exactly how many subscriptions do I have? I don't know, and that's a problem. Well, today's sponsor, Rocket Money, is here to help. Rocket Money is the app you need to save more and manage your money better. This personal finance app allows you to manage subscriptions, lower bills, make a custom budget, and grow your savings all in one place. I love using Rocket Money to cancel my unwanted subscriptions. It's safely and securely identified reoccurring subscriptions and cancel unwanted subscriptions for you. Rocket Money has helped save its customers up to $740 a year with over $500 million in canceled subscriptions. You can even cancel from within the app with just a couple of taps so there's no need to worry about making customer service calls. For instance, I didn't know that I was still paying for Dash Pass every single month and now I can save $9.99 a month. It's also super helpful to be able to track your spending and set up a budget. Rocket Money will break down your spending and your budget into categories so you can see where your money is going every month and where it should be going. They'll analyze your spending habits to create a custom budget that works with your lifestyle. You can also set up smart savings with Rocket Money and they'll automatically deposit your savings into an account that you can withdraw from whenever you'd like. So go to rocketmoney.com slash Alexandria Ryan or click the link below in the description to get started today for free. And then you can unlock even more features with premium. Thank you so very much to Rocket Money for sponsoring today's video and supporting the channel. I don't know why I said another. That one was Chic Beauty Box. This one is ice cream. But both of these boxes, the last one and this one are from like smaller businesses, smaller brands. And I think they have really fun, unique, interesting makeup in them. Them, so I really like getting them. Oh, November, Friendsgiving. That's lovely. Let's just get some of these peanuts out of the way. I do want to actually save all of these, ones, which sounds insane, but I do want to save all these because I plan on going ham on my Poshmark and posting like everything I own for sale on Poshmark for, of course, a, a fantastic deal. Just gonna, just, that'll be fine. So little packing peanuts will be really good for shipping. All right, the first item we have here is from ZC. This is a Living Colorfully Liquid Eyeliner. Liner. I'm excited to see the shade. ZC also does some more like bold bright colors so hopefully this is something really fun. <laughs> I have the music from Twilight stuck in my head, but it's just the hey, 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 hey. nothing else. No words. It's just, it's just that. I'm going to go ahead and give whatever shade this is a little shake to give it the best possible chance of working nicely. Ooh, okay. It looks like a deep shade, but I'm seeing potentially maybe like a red. Ooh. Oh, that's actually super pretty. It's a really deep, nicely pigmented kind of maroon burgundy red. That is really, really pretty. Ooh. In like 2016, this color would be unicorn blood like the, this is the unicorn blood color i'm actually really into this color for eyeliner it that could be a little should we just do it should we just go ahead and do it I currently only have like this little kind of smudgy brown stuff for a wing so what if we just what if we just went ahead and dried it i'm feeling a little adventurous today 
okay okay i don't know how well this is gonna translate on camera but over top of that just kind of brown smudgy eyeliner that i had on i really like this shade i think that's so pretty it's very subtle you can't really tell it's a red i don't know if you guys will be able to see it let me get really close <laughs> and you see it i just think it's such a pretty shade like for fall oh it's not as intense as like a standard black liner but i feel like it just adds such like a richness also i have a fair amount of green in my eyes and i think red really emphasizes the green so i i like that i think that's so pretty oh i gotta do the other right now this video is gonna be a million minutes long ah, okay i'm really i'm really pleased with this i like that quite a lot and this is what i mean like when i say like oh man another black liner couldn't they put in some like fun interesting colors i don't always mean like you know green or blue or something like that just something like this is just a little bit different a little bit unique not your standard eyeliner it, I, I feel like you really can't tell too much it's easier to see in person but i think it just adds a little something to the eye i like it <laughs> I also think that if it wasn't over like a deep brown liner, you could see the red more, but that way you can kind of customize it if you want it deeper or lighter. The next item here from Elancy is a cheek blusher. Oh, it's kind of cute with its little like ridges in there. A very peachy looking blush. It does look a little bit more on like the, the neon kind of peach side, uh, but you know, I'm cute. Next up, we have a face serum here from Mirabella. Oh, okay. This is a replenish and restore multi-peptide serum. And I think it was something like this, like a peptide something that uh, I was using in my skincare routine I just ran out of. I probably should know precisely what it is, but I don't. I think it's the, the peptide thing. So if this is similar to that, maybe I'll look up the ingredients and stuff. I can just pop this in its place and I'll have to buy another one. It's formulated with hyaluronic acid and vitamin C to reduce the appearance of fine lines and smoothly complexion. Gunky. That smells different. Oh, I didn't even see this little guy in the corner. There's a little tiny uh, individual pot here from Beauty Moon Cosmetics. It looks like it's gonna be a super shiny, kind of shimmery, loose pigment. Ooh, that looks like fairy dust. That's so pretty. It's also also looks like something I'm going to immediately spill so I'm just gonna give you guys just a little peek there it, it's so shiny whoa <laughs> I just tapped my finger into it and it picked up so much of that powder oh man I swatched in the worst places I really hope this is gonna pick up on camera because it's actually really pretty there's a shift to it kind of like a purple golden shift it's just like the tiniest most itty bitty little sparkles I feel like this could be used either like packed on an eyeshadow primer a glitter primer or something like that or if you just want to be sparkly, dusty, shiny, you could like rub this all over you. <laughs> You'd be so twinkly. It definitely does some stay put on its own, so you would need to lay down a base for this, but it's really pretty. Gosh, I'm shiny. And then finally, last but not least, we have a little palette here. Okay, this is from Saints Angel Centers. I feel like this is definitely a, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely a brand that Ice Cream Beauty has worked with before. This time we have the Friendsgiving palette. Cute little bunnies there on the front with just some plaid packaging. The packaging's always like kind of different kind of interesting oh my goodness but oh, wow yeah the shades are also very interesting as well i'm immediately drawn to this shiny kind of beautiful blue green color up here i'm just gonna get this one a little tippy tap just so we can see the shade swatch because i think that's such a pretty kind of like aquamarine shade oh yeah that's really nice and there's some really cute little names in here there's jello mold pumpkin pie cranberry burnt which uh, yeah that's probably a good adjective to describe some some elements of thanksgiving sometimes what's thanksgiving without just a little extra crisp on an item or two. Alrighty folks, that was everything for the ice cream beauty box for November. Uh, <laughs> ooh. This palette is apparently a $50 palette. That's a bit, that's a bit pricey, but hopefully since this is coming from a small brand, I'm really hoping that they're doing their own like formulation and stuff. That definitely increases the price of things if you're like mixing your own formulas and you're not just like private labeling stuff. So anyway, 50 bucks for the palette. Then we have the powder blush from Delancey is $10. The retinol replenishing serum. This didn't say nothing about retinol. Yeah, that still doesn't say nothing about retinol. Perhaps there was a different product and they just replaced it with this, but there's a retinol one from Mirabella for 28 bucks. The cherry red liquid liner from ZC Cosmetics is $24. And then finally, the loose duochrome from Beauty Moon Cosmetics is eight bucks. So yeah, that's actually a pretty decent value for this box. These boxes tend to have less value than like your standard BoxyCharm or Ipsy would, uh, just because again, they're from small brands and they're getting items from small brands. So the margin is definitely smaller when you're working with indie brands versus these massive companies. All right, but I am pleased with that box as well. Let's go ahead and move on here to a little item from Color... Oh my gosh, it's heavy. A little PR package from ColourPop. They're one of the only brands that still sends me PR, and I'm not certain if they know they do. So let's keep it... I'm not know that I'm still on the list. What is this? 
Okay, it's actually a dress from ColourPop, but this does not look like a standard ColourPop PR package. Oh my gosh, it's a ton of stuff from like different lines. That's so cute. I've never seen them do something like this before. Oh my gosh, everything's wrapped in bubble wrap. I'm gonna have so many shipping supplies. Oh, I'm really excited. I've never received anything like this before, so I'm, I'm, I'm really excited. The first thing in here are two little bubbles from the Powerpuff Girls hair clips. It's a ColourPop on them. Starting off very adorable, and I think the adorableness is gonna keep coming. <gasps> Lizzie McGuire. I had no idea that they did a Lizzie McGuire collection. Oh my gosh, this is like my childhood summed up in one little lipstick box. I absolutely loved Lizzie McGuire. I still love Hilary Duff. Oh, this is so cute. It's just a little lip gloss. It's a clear lip gloss with some little glitters in it, but they have the Lizzie McGuire animation there on the front. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, it's also a plumping gloss. So in case I want my lips to be extra spicy, I can put that on. Ooh, okay. This is the Old Flame collection. And then I there's a signature down there that I absolutely cannot read. So I'm guessing this is a collection by somebody. Oh, so pretty. It's very simple, very subtle, but it does look kind of like old Hollywood-esque. Ooh, you have a bright red lipstick and a deeper lip liner. Just a cute little nice sponge. I can definitely always use more sponges. Ooh, these look like really pretty shades. I ripped the box. I feel so bad every single time I rip a box. This is a little Citrus Fizz palette and I think these shades are really nice. I think they're very pretty. Ooh. Cute! The Hocus Pocus collection. Did I get this? I got the Hocus Pocus collection, but I don't remember this palette. It probably did come in the collection. I just, I, I can't remember it. But there's all three little Sanderson sisters on the front and the back. There's some cute little cats with all the names on it. Oh my gosh, yeah. And the inside of the packaging is precious as well. I was kind of hoping all the pans would be in the shape of cats. The inside of the palette is really nice with like the mirror and the little cutout there and the shades are really fun. Oh, so cute. I love everything Halloween. <laughs> this summer nonsense. Bring me back to fall. Gosh, there's so much in here. Okay, next up we have a fresh fresh kiss lip cream. Ooh, oh, that's very kind of like brownie beige looking. We got a feather effect brow pen. Have you ever? Can you even see it? Have you ever? Is that a felt tip? Or is it a brush tip? I can't even tell. It's so minuscule. I've never seen the tip of anything be that small. Gotta have a surgeon's hand to use that brow pen. Oh, Bambi. We got Bambi and Thumper and Flower, three little lip glosses. All oh, the packaging is just so precious. That's some glitter. This is a glitterly obsessed body glitter and that's so shiny. Oh, chunky, okay. <laughs> it's a very thick kind of like paste, but my goodness, there is a ton of glitter in that. Oh, it doesn't smell bad either. I, for, I thought it would smell like Elmer's glue, to be fun, to be fully honest. And ooh, there's a little pair of falsies in here. Those are kind of pretty. Yeah, there's some weight to this palette. Well, I haven't seen this collection before, but so far, I'm really liking this packaging that like deep burgundy. I'm into deep burgundy recently. Why did I say recently? I'm always into deep burgundy. <laughs> it's velvet on the front. This might be the prettiest color pop packaging I've ever seen. I mean, some of the stuff is like cute and nostalgic and adorable, but this is like beautiful. Oh, I love it. I'm really hoping the colors are like nice and rich and pretty. They are perfectly fine shades, they are. But I truly was hoping I would open this up and just be blown away by like the richness, some like deep golds and those burgundies. I wanted it to look like velvet in pans when I opened this up. And that might not be exactly what we're getting. So this shade down here is kind of like what I was anticipating the rest of it to be based on. But what do you know, it's called Velvet One. So yeah, I was kind of picturing something like this to be the basis of the colors and then have like different finishes and just, I don't know, th this looks really like luxe to me. The, the inside doesn't really that much though. Ah, okay, that was really fun. That was everything in the, this ColourPop box. I don't I don't even know what that was. <laughs> they just took leftover items from their different launches and they sent out kind of mystery boxes to people. Oh, I'm not intelligent sometimes. I purchased this. <laughs> this was a mystery box. I bought this mystery box. Me, I, I paid for it with my credit card. Still thank you ColourPop for sending me PR every now and again. Uh, this was not, this was not PR. Yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> it's like, whoa, this is so much fun. Like this is such a unique way to, to do PR. It's a mystery box that I bought. Okay. Let me just check real fast and see how much ColourPop mystery boxes go for so I can give you guys like 
any information about the thing I bought and totally forgot about. I'm assuming it's this one. They have a mystery box for $49 and you get $121 in value. You know what though? I think that was a good mystery box. 50 bucks, not too shabby. We got a lot of fun stuff. We got a lot of cute stuff. It was a very fun mystery box. I had a really good time doing that. Hey, Hoozle. Next up here, let's just move on. <laughs> let's just move on. All right, next up we have a little bit of a different box. This is the Thera box. So it's not gonna be just a makeup or like beauty based box. It's got all sorts of little things in it. This one's honestly probably a more recent one because it was on top of the stack. Oh, it gives me the box value for this month of $170 plus. It doesn't tell me for, for what month, but that's, that's a good, that's an okay value. Those look like straight up worms. Those are the most wormy crinkles I've ever seen. Oh, even holding them. <laughs> like I have something that I shouldn't hold in my hand. However, I shall be keeping them to ship things. So the first thing we have here, the little bag says in my self-care era. It is an embroidered canvas tote bag from, we've been through this before, A-Y-N-I-L. No, I'm gonna leave that up to you to decipher what that sounds like. Uh, let's look at this adorable little tote. Oh, it even says <laughs> in my self-care era down there at the bottom, has little pinstriping on it with all of these daisies and it's just a nice tote. There's a pocket on the inside and it does have a snap. A little bit like on the thinner side, but I think this is kind of precious. Oh, and that along the same kind of theme, we got these little coasters. It's a four piece little flower coaster set just made out of cork. Those are really simple and cute, very springy again. Ooh, okay, there are actually several things in here. We're moving into some skincare now. I feel like this box typically, if it's gonna come with any beauty stuff, it's usually skincare. The first of which being an oil complex from an unidentified brand. Oh, <laughs> the brand's name is ingredients. I thought they were literally just, it, it was a list of ingredients. I just assumed. It's a 100% plant-based formula that's certified organic. It's got all sorts of oils in it. We're talking marula, rose hips, sea buckthorn fruit, aroli, lavender. There's all sorts of oil in here. It, it smells like an oil. Shocking. Um, yeah, oil complex. Complex. I look, my mouth is sticking together. Complex. We get a quick sip of the like, nectar of the god. I wouldn't choose regular Dr. Pepper over this. There's something about the diet that burns better. Ooh, this could be potentially interesting. So from Steam Base, this is a tea tree scalp water scaler. I don't 100% know what that means yet, but I have heard good things about tea tree oil and like your scalp and hair growth, that kind of stuff. So this could be a potential thing that I could use. It's supposed to clean buildup. So I'm guessing if you like descale something, you know, like I uh, think that's something that you do in the bathrooms or whatever, um, you're, you're getting rid of that buildup. So I'm guessing this is to get rid of the buildup on your scalp. So yeah, that could be nice. Next up here, we have something from the one and key list. This is a selfless by her. Oh, um, is that the, the skincare guy that's on TikTok? And I think YouTube also, I'm not 100% sure if I'm saying this correctly, but Hiram, I feel like he's a like a well-known skincare person. That's so nice. Every product purchase provides someone with a year's clean drinking water. That's awesome. This is a Mandelic Acid and Rice brand gentle exfoliating serum. I'm telling you, they come up with a new acid every single day. I don't know how they do it. I, Mandelic Acid, also Rice brand, sure. That sounds like a health cereal that your mom ate while she was on Weight Watchers in the 90s and it looks somewhat like this. But this is supposed to be a gentle exfoliating serum. So I guess we have some chemical exfoliators going on here. Following that, we have a toothpaste. Okay, <laughs> we have a purifying toothpaste from before. It is a super mint sensitive toothpaste with fluoride. That's very aesthetic toothpaste. This, this looks like something you shouldn't put on your mouth. <laughs> I can see this being a little bit of an issue. Like, you know, you're getting ready to go to bed. You have all of your skincare stuff setting out and you, you go to grab your toothpaste, but instead you accidentally grab like your retinol night cream and squeeze it on your toothbrush. I've just never, I've never seen a toothpaste. It looked like this before. It even has like a huge top to it. This is toothpaste, right? It's, it's just a toothpaste. I bet this costs more than my crest. I bet, I bet it does. <laughs> all right, last little skincare kind of body care thing we have in here is from Nuria. This is a calm cleansing milk. It has sunflower native to South America in it. I'm wondering what makes it calming. Maybe it has some like lavender scent to it. The bottle is actually really cute. I like that purple with the blue top. I'm gonna give it a little sniff. I'm just really interested. Oh, okay. I thought it would have more of a scent to it or at least like a lavender scent. But it actually really doesn't have too much of a smell whatsoever. Now when they say calming. Oh, okay. I thought this was for your body. I thought this was like a calming, like relaxing thing, you know, to make you sleepy. No, I think it's calming to like put on your face and calm, calm your skin down. Ew. Okay, so that's a little bit different. You can use it for cleansing and makeup removal, so that's nice. It looks pretty. <laughs> 
I'm starting to lose my voice just a little bit. These videos always take me forever to film and I'm just like y'all talking at the camera for, you know, two or three hours. And then finally, the last little item we have in here. Oh, it's a cute little coloring book. That can be really nice and relaxing. It's supposed to be a nature inspired adult coloring book. Oh, fun. I like that. Oh, there's like little like, nice quotes and things in here. Be patient with yourself. Nothing in nature blooms all year. Just fun little cute things like that. Okay, I think this is really adorable. This was a pretty good Good Thayer box. We've got a lot of stuff in here, a lot of skincare, a lot of really fun little cute naturey springy inspired things. So I thought this was pretty good. Oh gosh, you guys. Okay, my, my camera's screaming at me. It's yelling at me that my battery is about to die. So I'm gonna get off here. But that was everything in the random roundup. Let me know what you guys thought about all of these boxes. We have many, many more to go. Plus we have a lot of videos coming up. We have another advent calendar. I found another one. We have some Etsy boxes, potentially another cookie taste test. I know those videos don't go too well, but I really like tasting cookies. So there's a lot coming here on the channel. If you would like to stick around, it would mean the absolute world to me and Rin and Tater. Tater's in the other room, uh, but if you would subscribe, it would mean the world to us. And uh, yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. So thank you so very much for watching. Please go ahead and consider subscribing if you would not mind. It would mean the absolute world to me. And I just hope you guys have a lovely, wonderful, fantastic day. And I'll see you all next time. Bye. Bye.